Hi everyone, I'm Holly from Handprinted, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a lino cut using sheen collet. Now sheen collet is a process in which a thin paper is bonded to your printing paper in the printmaking process when you're taking your print. And it's a really good way of adding extra colour, pattern and interest to your prints without having to carve another block or print another layer. This is an old print that has been printed using sheen collet. The jellyfish is the lino cut and all of this pattern here is a paper, a detailed paper that has been bonded to the surface of my printmaking paper in the process of taking the print. As you can see, it adds a lot of detail and extra colour to what would ordinarily be a um, simple black and white print. I'm starting off with a piece of traditional lino. I've already got my Christmas jumper sketched onto it in a white permanent pencil. We're going to use nori paste to stick our papers onto our printmaking paper. And nori paste is a starch based glue. So this is the perfect glue to use for this technique. I'm going to water it down a little bit to make it a more spreadable consistency when I finish carving my block. The first thing I've got to do is prepare my block. So here's my lino block ready for carving. Now there are a few things to bear in mind when carving a piece of lino for sheen collet. We need to think a little bit differently. If we go back to my jellyfish print, you can see that some areas are solid black and they would have been the areas that were left behind on the block, so left uncarved. And they completely cover up the paper underneath, so I'm not seeing any of this pattern underneath that. These areas here were the areas that were carved away and they allow the, the pattern to show through. So we need to think about that when we're carving our block. Any area that I carve away is going to allow the paper underneath to show through and anything that's left behind is going to cover up that paper. I'm intending to carve away the bulk of this jumper, leaving a Christmas tree shape behind and with a little bit of detail on. I'm also going to leave this outline here for my jumper. I intend to cut pieces of paper roughly a similar shape, shape and size to the jumper so it looks like the jumper is in that pattern. So I need to make sure that there is enough open carved away space for my papers to show through, otherwise there's not much point in doing sheen collet. But I also need to make sure there's enough raised area left that's going to print a design, but also we need raised areas to help push and stick down our sheen collet paper. In my jellyfish print, this border around the edge helped to stick the edges of this paper down. They're raised areas of lino and they help to push the paper onto um, the printmaking paper so it's not just floating about. We need that pressure between the inked lino and the paper to hold on to our patterned or coloured papers. I'm going to be using these Japanese wood carving tools, wooden lino, mostly going to be using the U tools, the small U and the large U, and my V tool to carve this. I'm going to be using some of this thin one-sided origami paper but you can use all sorts of thin papers and um, thin handmade papers work quite well. You can use tissue paper as well but wet strength tissue paper is better um, because as soon as we apply the nori paste uh, the paper is going to get quite delicate and, we, and um, some of the papers can be too absorbent and then your prints can get a bit splodgy. But have an experiment with different papers that you have. They'll all work slightly differently. I find that this type of paper works particularly well. But there is something to consider when using this kind of paper. 
um, because it's only got pattern on one side and not the other. So we need to make sure that our pieces are cut the right way and that we place them down the right way. The way we need to think about it is we're going to be printing on top of the pattern or the colour. So I want it to go down, um, face down, and then print so my jumper will be here and the paper will be behind. So when I make my pieces, I want them to fit this way around, not that way around. So I'm going to make a tracing of my jumper here just so I can get the rough shape of my um, jumper on my tissue on my uh, paper pieces. I'm not worried too much about it being accurate. You have to lay the papers down quite loosely and you can't really move them once they're down. So don't get too hung up on the exact placement. Just embrace the slight chaos of the style. Okay, so that's my rough shape. I want my paper to print that way. So I want this shape to fit this way. Because I've got my tracing on this side, I need to flip it. If you're doing tracing paper, you need to flip it around this way to get my shape. I'm just going to fit it in however the paper goes, but you can use specific parts of design if you want to. You can use old sheet music, old maps, just some colored paper, anything that you've got in your stash hasn't quite found a home yet. Now might be its time. Okay, so it roughly fits on my jumper there with the pattern side down. So now I've prepared my nori paste. I'm just mixed a little bit of the nori paste with a little bit of water just to make it a more spreadable, less gloopy consistency. I'm going to use some Caligo Safe Wash Relief Ink in black with a little wire handled roller for this print. Now I'm ready to prepare my lino for printing. I've got my little jumpers here. I'm going to want to print my lino on the paper so I'll have my jumper printed here and I want my jumper to end up this way with the print on top. That means that I need to have my jumper white side up. It also means that this is the side that I need to apply the glue. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this nori and paint it on the back of my jumper. I want a nice thin layer. You'll need to experiment a little bit with the amount of glue because it will slightly depend on what papers you're using for your sheen collet. I'm just going to ink up my lino. There's my little Christmas jummy. And then my sheen collet paper is going to go on top, glue side up, not glue side down gluing to the paper, not to the lino. So place it down, once it's down, it's down. You can't really adjust it because it's got ink on the back now. So you just sort of have to embrace wherever it lands. I've made a little registration sheet with my lino marked on, just so I can see roughly where to put my paper. Paper goes over the top. I want a piece of greaseproof paper and I'm using a bamboo baron to take this print. I've got my sheen collet paper behind, my lino print over the top. You can see how my lino goes over the edge. My paper is nicely stuck down. You could use it for lino cuts that you have already carved as well, so you don't have to go carving a new block. You could just bring some life into an old one. We've got everything that you need apart from the coloured and patterned papers on the website, handprinted.co.uk. Happy printing!